I'm dealing with the issue of fighting against terrorism and compliance with human rights in that context uh, quite a lot in my own research, in my teaching at the academic level, plus then in my capacity as United Nations Special Rapporteur on Human Rights and Counterterrorism. So it's a familiar and one could say dear topic to me. Uh, this uh, executive seminar was special in the sense that uh, we are trying to uh, address the topic of terrorism and the fight against terrorism also in a conflict prevention, conflict resolution perspective. And then of course it's not only a matter of public international law or law in general, but much more interdisciplinary dimensions come into play. So today I tried to look also into so-called root causes of terrorism, what are the explaining factors that uh, result in terrorism, and therefore also how could terrorism best be prevented in the future. So those were the specific dimensions of the lectures today. It goes back no, no further than 9-11-2001, which was really a change in so many dimensions, so many things in the world, that I, I have been working as a A to Z human rights expert and human rights lawyer for, since the light, late 1980s. And um, I, one of my areas of interest was always states of emergency and derogations from certain human rights in situations of crisis. And then with 9-11 this interest was more focused in the, into the issue of terrorism. I think it's uh, very useful to retain the multidisciplinary approach in designing an executive seminar which deals with conflict power, conflict resolution, and within that context also counter-terrorism. And um, what I tried to do today as well was to include discussion on the different strategic approaches to terrorism at United Nations level and at EU level. And here I see that there is plenty of room of evolution in the sense that one needs to follow very closely what's happening out there in the world, how countries and international organizations are perhaps changing in their approaches to terrorism. I'm quite optimistic, at least at the moment, in the sense that um, after working five years as Special Rapporteur on Human Rights and Counterterrorism, I sense that there is more understanding than before amongst the actual counterterrorism professionals that compliance with human rights is a key to success that better human rights compliance actually results in better counterterrorism as well. And I think this will result in certain adjustments to the strategic approaches of international organizations. I'm not saying they have it wrong now, but I think there is room for improvement.